Association croquet is often seen as complicated, but transferring your golf croquet skills over is actually very simple. You already know how to hold a mallet and run a hoop, and probably from a greater distance than your AC counterparts. To play AC you need three basic shots. We'll try to cover these as simply as possible for you, but if they don't make sense, ask your club level coach for help. Oh, and there are some rules, but they're in a yellow book in your clubhouse. We're not going to cover all of those, it would be incredibly boring. The aim of association croquet is to take your two partner balls around the lawn, running all of the hoops and eventually pegging out in the middle. This is normally done one ball at a time. Depending where the other balls are on the lawn, their names change. Here in the middle of the lawn we see our pivot, and in front of our hoops we have our pioneers. When we make contact with another ball, this is called roquet. We can then pick our ball up and take croquet from it, allowing us to jump from hoops 1 to 2 to 3 and so on, using each of the other balls along the way. There are many different shots associated with croquet that can be used to move your balls into the appropriate position. The shots shown in this video are not the only ones you can use. Each coach will encourage you to use different things depending on your strengths. For our example, we'll be taking the blue ball around the lawn. Shot number one, the rush. With GC you use clearance shots. In AC we refer to these as a rush. Rushing a ball allows you to move the other balls into better positions. For example, near the hoop. Setting up for the shot, we're aiming at the centre of the red ball with the blue. Move your feet back slightly before playing the shot. This generates topspin, moving the front ball more distance with very little effort. Shot number two, the half roll. Every time you go on the lawn, you have a full set of roques, meaning you can use each ball once as a stepping stone to progress around the lawn. Once we've roqueed another ball, in our example the red, we can pick our ball up, the blue, and place it in contact so as to take an extra shot. This is the croquet stroke. In a croquet stroke, there are two things to keep in mind. The croquet ball must move, and neither ball can leave the lawn. For a half roll, hold the mallet halfway down the shaft and approximately six inches from the head. You'll need to find the best position for you by trial and error. Place your front foot comfortably to the side of the balls. You're hitting the ball at approximately 25 degrees and following through. The rear ball has traveled half the distance of the front ball and blue can run the hoop. You may have to play with these positions where your hands go and where your feet go to make it work for you. Every player and every mallet is different. Shot number three, the takeoff. This is the most accurate of the three shots. You'll find that the way it works may appear slightly confusing, so we've included a target and a line to aim at to help with the example. This is also a croquet stroke, so the same rules apply. In this shot, it's easy to apply too much force. You're effectively moving one ball only, so you only need to hit it with the strength to get one ball into the position you want it. The balls are touching and the direction of travel is the strength. It's important that the red ball moves when we strike, so we play into it at a slight angle. Blue is on target and the red ball moved. Now we can put it all together. We have our three shots so we can progress around the lawn running as many hoops as possible. When we play through hoop one, what we want to do is play a long half roll so that our front ball ends up by hoop three, our next but one hoop. And our rear ball, having traveled half the distance, will end up near the pivot.
Okay, this isn't what we discussed, but it's a perfect example of what to do if things don't go to plan. Use the takeoff to make the hoop. Things go wrong for players all the time, and this is quite a common example of easy ways to get out of it. The takeoff's the most accurate shot, so why not use it? Here's an exercise to get you used to using takeoffs around the hoop. 